As far as the one I've been on the longest, the azathioprine, the immunosuppressant, I don't, well, I've been on it so long, I'm not really sure if I'm biased or not, but I don't have many side effects. It is supposed to suppress your immune system, so theoretically you're supposed to get sick more often because it you know, suppresses your immune system response to everything else that you come into contact to. I really don't get sick very often with, you know, flus, you know, things like that. So I, I would consider myself lucky, but that is a common side effect, just not for me. Um, the biologic medications, though, I did see pretty bad side effects. The one I was first on before I had surgery when I was 16 is called Remicade, and that's where you go to an outpatient center where you just sit in a chair and they put an IV in and run the medication through you for about an hour. You just relax. And that's, I think, once or twice a month that you do that. And that's a more heavy-duty medication. It has more side effects. I think that one of them is cancer. <laughs> so um, it's kind of it's more on the risky side and that can definitely make you more sick and that did make me more sick I would kind of catch everything when I was on that I wasn't on it very long because it was kind of too late and I had surgery pretty soon after about a year and a half ago my gastro doctor put me on another biologic medication because he had done a routine colonoscopy you have to have those about once a year um, just to check and make sure things are doing okay. And he saw things he wasn't really pleased with, and so he wanted me to go on that biologic called Humira. And that's an injection that you inject yourself with at home. I can't remember how often it was. It was I think it was once a week for a while, and then it was every other week, and then once a month. It kind of ramped up in dosage. That made me sick a lot too. It gave me a lot of side effects. Um, I was really sick, you know, I caught everything. I caught the sinus infections, I caught the flu, I caught all these things that were going around at the time, which normally I don't. And I, it also gave me really, really bad acne, which is weird, but it is um, a side effect on the medication side effects. It is a known side effect. It was all over, it was horrible. And finally I figured it out. And I, I didn't, it didn't seem to be helping my helping me feel any better or helping any of my Crohn's symptoms. So I decided to stop using it. So I'm not on that anymore. I'm actually on a different medication that's called low dose naltrexone. It's, I don't know if it's newer, but it is newer in the use to control Crohn's disease in that it, it controls, oh, I can't remember. I think it's T cells. They're the type of cells that, oh, I'm not quite sure. I should know this. But they're the type of cells that um, control the body's reaction to certain things. So what low-dose naltrexone does is it helps the body know when to stop causing, you know, attacking itself or causing the inflammation. It kind of helps control that response to kind of tone it down because that's another idea that Crohn's might be just, it just doesn't, your, your body doesn't quite have the right balance of, um, of when, to, when to react and when to kind of tone it down. So there's different cells in the body that always build things up or tear things down and they think it might be kind of out of whack. So that has been helping me. I've only been on that about three months and um, my doctor wants to slowly cut down on my azathioprine dosage in about a month, kind of uh, taper that down because that is also not the greatest medication to be on long-term. It can cause cancer and other things like that. So <laughs> ideally, I would rather not be on that. So, and with, since I have a baby, um, azathioprine isn't the best medication to be on when nursing or when pregnant, things like that. And so they want for my next babies, hopefully for me not to have to be on that. 